Hey guys, Luna here. I'm gonna be playing, a, doing a formal run of inscription, and I'm also gonna be talking about a couple of my theories that I had about this game, since it seems uh, like there is some sort of theory going on here. The first thing I'm gonna be talking about as I'm setting this up is the two little quote-unquote glitches per se. They're not exactly glitches, but it seemed like those happened where the battles basically are instant lost, where the game master, the person that's leading us, just wants to have fun and also teach certain like game, like have fun himself while also teaching game mechanics. Here we go again. Another challenger. Perhaps it's time. Perhaps you can understand bones. So, the resource of a possum costs two bones. You gain a bone when one of your creatures perishes for any reason. So, there's an interesting thing I want to talk about with these certain characters. Since the stout is... You will not lose this until it's spent or the battle ends. to do this for fun. <laughs> Basically a point of damage to the action bone. But uh, basically um so he seems like a rather interesting character as it sort of reminds me of like D D or something, and I don't I don't really know how to describe it exactly. Besides for the fact that actually I will wait to play this one. So. Scroll possum. And so he takes some different personalities sort of like at the indie indie as well, which that was kinda interesting. So I'm just gonna do this because I don't care, but But um you don't really know too much about him. And in the in his world, like in this, just in the in the room itself, you do actually happen to see the door where if you die, which I'll, I'll show you after I get up from this. That's there. Basically, it keeps flashing here. Uh, so, oh, forgot your figurine. Go up and get, fetch it for me. So it's behind, besides the safe. So yeah, this door keeps flashing. It looks like the door that you go into. I think it's just basically suggesting like that's the room where you die, which I think it's. I don't really know what the flashes mean besides maybe other people dying or something, but who knows? And this is basically suggesting his next move, so you know he's gonna do a squirrel and an elk maybe, but... And... I feel like the wolf is another character in this game. Hey look, this extra teeth. Weird. But... Anyways, um, the why it's when feet when you first play, uh, when you play, first play this, you actually have to only continue, which means this could be like different time loops or um, this is just this is just a different game. Oh, hello. I wasn't sure if I would ever escape that I am crypt is 
is the stoat around, meaning he's another person, the stunted wolf. The madness must end. Put that away. But yeah. Can I not get the key? Okay, I'll have to get the key later then. Yeah, it just seems like it was. This game was definitely owned by a different person. And. Um, and it's like a time loop for maybe different pe people playing the game. Which could, could suggest why you have the same memories but different looks based on the. Yeah. The stats reaction after you. A few possessions yet. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Yeah. Um, the scout's reaction is basically like, "Oh, you die," basically suggesting like, "Hey." Um. So. I think that that's based on how many things you can win. So. Um, and it also die the continue basically just teaches different mechanics and stuff. Um, guards like scout, I thought that maybe are different people, people from previous or different lives. And also link below just two other YouTubers, uh, Jacksepticeye and Michaela Laws. First playthrough, if you actually want to see their, their first playthrough of that. That if you want to actually see someone playing, so that looks like it's bright, maybe. That goes up, that goes down. This will not move. So Lose a jack of how this is supposed to go. <laughs> uh, I hope I do not want to do that. There we go. I'll figure those out later because I'm sure you guys won't actually see me playing this. But yeah, if you're curious on how I knew the safe, it's because the safe was right there. I'll skip my next move that actually is pretty good. Blackout is always good because he gets you through blood and you know, good more black clothes. <laughs> you again? Indeed. Don't free our friend free me. Well, I basically told them how to do it. No, you didn't. <laughs> you got a plan. 
We have another friend here. You've got to be kidding. I would, I wouldn't call him a friend, but I suppose we are deep in this time. Which I think he's talking about the wolf potentially. And on my turn is that. Squirrel. Put that there and play Steampunk. Back in the game. Actually, I'm curious about his ability. Basically how this works is you have to get five more than your opponent. So if you're at if it's the tails of four in your side, you need to do nine points of damage to try and defeat him. <laughs> Just put that there for now, just so. Attacking. Oh yeah, and that this is the creature. This is the person that I made after I died my first time. Definitely picking that <laughs> myself up. <laughs> um, I'll upgrade a card. Ooh, two health. One more creature by the fire and chances health. So one. Um, <laughs> I'm gonna improve my. I'm gonna improve my wolf. It's always nice to have a little extra health. The survivors were right about the flames. They had an enchant to the creature's health. Spotting a few survivors drooling, you made a hasty retreat with your wolf. I'm kind of curious what this one does. I haven't seen what that is. And I'm gonna end it here for this episode, and I will probably record something soon. <laughs> so, see you guys in the next episode, and may the stars guide your path. <laughs>